Hi everyone, in this video we will see customer relationship management using ERP Next. That is, we will see customer relationship management from the whole ERP Next perspective. Like every cycle, we will see the sales cycle, we will see the marketing, and then we'll see the customer service and all that. Now before going into that, first let's see what is CRM. Now CRM, we all know that it helps to improve the and helps to improve the interaction with our existing customer as well as it also helps to acquire a new customer. Now you can help your existing customer by providing them constant support, constant like proper customer service and then by doing campaign, doing marketing and all that. And to acquire a new customer you also have to follow some strategy that is you have to do follow up and then you have to like do email marketing if you have like got the email of the leads. So this is all you can do using CRM. Now CRM is also an integral part of your like business or your service or product or anything that you have. So CRM is like the main part of it. Now it also actually helps your business grow. It helps to increase your reputation and your reach and all that. So let's move ahead and we'll be seeing all this in terms of ERP Next. So in ERP Next we know that there are roles. So based on the roles, we have permission to access different doc types. So likewise in ERP Next, we have two different roles, such as we have sales user and sales manager. Now mostly these two roles are responsible for managing the whole CRM functionality in ERP Next. Now let's go. Let's go further. Now why you need a CRM software? So obviously to do a proper customer relationship management, you will need a CRM software or a system because you need it to identify and categorize lead. That is uh, with the help of software, you can identify which type of a lead it is or if the lead is like an inactive lead or lead is not interested, then you can just simply categorize them into certain category. Next is you can help uh, CRM software help you to streamline your sales process. That is, it will help your sales team to acquire lead and then to convert into the customer and then close opportunity. Like this is the whole sales cycle. So that is really easily possible in with the help of CRM software. Now next is centralized customer information. That is, you have all the customer information at one place. You don't have to like go, let's say you are using spreadsheet to do this customer relationship management. Now obviously it will get a little hectic to like go into different different spreadsheet and look at the customer information. But with ERP Next CRM software you have in any customer CRM software but particularly with C ERP Next you have this whole customer information centralized at one place. Now next up, next up we have is accompanying customers. That is, let's say you have the customers. Now you need to provide them customer service. So for that, you also need CRM software, like to provide them constant support, providing them a platform where they can contact you, contact you uh, in terms of any issue they are facing. Next up we have is increased referrals from existing customer. Now with the help of CRM, you can, let's say you have a customer base of 100 customers. And with the help of those 100 customers, you can add a referral program and then this way you can acquire more customer with the help of those current hundred customer base. Now next up we have is like with the help of CRM software we can also improve our product and service. So how can you do that like you have this whole reporting section like let's go I'll, I'll show it from here. So if you go into CRM we have this whole CRM reports like we have sales funnel lead details and all that. So these these are lot, like really important thing to identify how and what you are doing with your business like is it going in the right direction or not. So that's why the CRM is really important. CRM software is really important. All right, I hope you're clear with why you need CRM software. Now let's move ahead. So in ERP Next, CRM is categorized mainly into three different sections. So we have marketing, we have sales, we have customer service. Now everything first begins with the sales. So what we'll do is right now we'll first see all of this, that is the sales part, and then we'll move on to marketing. That is once you have lead, once you have customer opportunity, for them you'll be doing a marketing and then you have next is customer service. So customer service also comes, that is it comes to for the existing customer. So now let's move on to the sales. Now in sales, you can see that we have a lead. So who is lead? Lead is someone or uh, is a potential customer whom you expect a business from in the future. That is, uh, let's say you got an idea that somebody is looking for some product and uh, they're like, they just here to like check out your website or the product or service that you have to offer. So that is who our lead. Now with the name itself, you can understand that lead is someone who will lead you to sales. So let's go to ERP next and 
we'll go to a lead and see so let's go to this lead over here so you see in the lead information we have this different information such as person name the email address of the lead and then we have the status of the lead that is right now this lead once the lead is interested in our product they can be converted into an opportunity also and then we have uh, certain different information yeah so we have this follow up over here that is let's say if we want to contact or communicate to lead further about our product or service so we can add this follow up details over here and then we can add a notes and we have this address and contact that's a little information about the lead and over here so we have some more information that is we can add the lead type so whether they are client channel partner or consultant so let's say the lead is a client so I'll just store it and we also have the territory over here that is the where the lead is from so this way you can also have a geographical information about from where your customers or your like opportunity and leads are coming from all right so here we have this two section that is we can also email directly from here and then we have the new event so event can be set let's say if you want to add meeting or have a discussion about some product and service so you can do it using this new event section over here so i hope you're clear with what is lead and how a lead can be created now there are different ways you can capture lead that is one you can like here you see this is a contact form so every time somebody contacts you on the website then also the lead is created like if i write if you are a guest somebody enters an email address and then write something over here and then send it so the lead will be created in this CRM module lead section all right next up we have is the opportunity so when you know the leads exact requirement that is like uh, the lead was a lead at this at the stage of lead because he was just looking around and checking for the product but once you know that lead is looking for this exact product and then you also have the exact product to offer so now they become an opportunity so this is a really important sales stage that is basically like this whole process is moving towards uh, your sales so let's let's go back and we'll see okay here only we'll see sorry so from here you have the option to create opportunity so this lead is now converted into an opportunity let's say this lead has came around and looked at your website and just checked and was just checking and they found something and you also realize that okay they, we have something to offer them like after the meeting and follow up so what you'll do is you'll convert it into an opportunity okay so now this lead is converted into an opportunity and then you can also add this converted by like who is responsible for converting like after follow-up mostly happens and then you can add the currency that is now now we are moving towards the sales stage so we have all this information over here sales and so we can also add a next follow up that is we can also discuss further if you want to and what I'll do is I'll just save it. Now lead is converted into an opportunity. So next up we have is that a lead, the lead who is converted into an opportunity, they might need uh, some quotation. So quotation includes all the price detail and everything about the item or the product or service that you have to offer. So what you'll do is you'll create a quotation next stages after opportunity you will be creating a quotation and you'll be sending them a quotation this whole like you'll add the item code the quantity as well as rate so basically we're just sending them about telling them about the price of the product and all that so that you can just send them so once they once you send them a quotation like you are moving further like closer towards the sales so if they like everything and that that will lead you to your sales that is for sales so then we have a sales order all right let's do get items from opportunity no all right let's add some item over here okay so I'll select this one and I'll add one quantity all right let's save it all right so this quotation has been created now what you can do is you can just simply email this quotation to your opportunity that is this particular customer Lisa now once they once they like everything and once they are like okay ready to buy your product or service 
then they can create a sales order or you can also create it manually or they can submit it on the website also like you have the shop option over here so from here if, if they buy something that is converted into a sales order so now once the sales order and sales invoice and all that process is done your opportunity is now your customer so you see first it was lead and then we have opportunity and then we have quotation and sales order now this opportunity that we had is now our customer so like once they are converted into a customer like it is a very important stage so now what you'll do is for this particular customer you'll be having a customer service program and then you'll also have a marketing program which we will see further so also let's go i just had this little animation so let's see so we have first lead and then the lead is converted into opportunity then once they like everything then they are converted into customer so all right now also i was telling about automating the lead capturing that is using this contact us form this contact us if somebody if anybody contacts you on this website so they are also converted into a lead and then we can also create a lead from incomplete orders let's say somebody went to your shop site and they bought something like they decided to lo just look around right configure and they'll choose red color confirm add to cart and that's it they just stop there only so then also they can be converted into a lead like create lead from incomplete orders so I hope you understood this my sales part about the whole sales cycle and everything. Now, next we'll see about the marketing. So now next section in CRM is marketing. So in ERP next, we have three different sections for marketing that is subsection. We have one is campaign and then we have email campaign marketing and then we have a newsletter. So marketing is really important because it helps to promote or sell your product or service so without any marketing any business wouldn't exist actually because marketing is like uh, it's really important to like keep up your business and to promote your product and service to your existing as well as the to your potential customer now let's see how can we do marketing in ERP next so we have this campaign over here so campaign is like we create a marketing strategy so let's see this is one campaign that I created for a mobile phone so for this campaign now we have this email template now you can add multiple email templates in this campaign and you can add how many days do you want to send them after like if I add one more template over here and I set it to send it after two days so what will happen is that first this one will go that this you know, customers will receive this one first and then we have a second one if we add that will be sent after any days that you set so this way like let's say you have created a week campaign or for 15 days so what you do is in two days you send um, advertisement or marketing uh, do marketing about your product to your customer now marketing can be done through email campaign and another one is through social media campaigns. Right now in ERP Next, you can post directly on LinkedIn as well as on Twitter. So also you can schedule when you want to post it. So for email campaign, let's let's go into this email template over here. So this is how I have like, I just created one product uh, marketing you can say. So this is about uh, iPhone 11 over here. So customer will be receiving an email about this and if they like it, they might buy more from you so that was all about marketing about campaign as well as email marketing now next we also have a newsletter so in ERP next you can also send a newsletter so what you can do is now instead of like sending each person separate newsletter you can just create a group that is an email group like let's say this one I've created so here we can see that we have the email group and then we have the total subscribers so in ERP next you have a feature where you, c where you can create an email group and you can add the number of people or you can also import the leads or they can be anyone they can be lead they can be opportunity and they can be customer so you can import all of them and that will be added in the email group and next we have is so what we can do is like we can create this newsletter and that will be scheduled to send to this particular email group now you can add multiple email group for one newsletter and this is a subject and this can be the like the message that you want to add now you can also add a message in the form of HTML or you can also add a markdown so HTML is important when you have like a link in the email 
and you can, you have an image and all that so that can be created in a very creative way and apart from that you can also send an unsubscribe link as well as send attachments with the email sometimes you want to send them a PDF attachment about more detail and this is just a published over here and we can also do a testing that is how this email is looking from the user that is from the user's point of view uh, it can be lead opportunity or customer so this was about marketing which is really important section in the CRM apart from sales that is once you get the customer you will move on to this marketing side of this CRM now next we have is customer service yeah this is one of the example of like a marketing like your email you can add this uh, logo and everything using the HTML now next we have is a customer service now customer service is really important to retain your existing customer so but for your existing customer you can create a contact that you can add that all the details in ERP next so we can see we have this contact over here so contact includes all the necessary information about the customer we have their email ID let's say if a customer is having a multiple email IDs then we can also add them over here we can add the contact numbers and we can also link the document that is lead if they are lead we can add this document over here and if there are opportunity we can add that also here next we have is a follow-up so what is follow-up that is it's basically you are reaching out to your customer like weekly or let's say in a 15 days or in a month so your customer might, will know about your service and your product or if they have an issue then you can discuss with them next we have is a loyalty points so you create loyalty points for your customers like let's say every time they buy something from you on your website so you give them like one loyalty point now one loyalty point can have like one dollar depending upon anything like depending upon the criteria that you set so it's a really important section next we have is the support so we can have uh, so we have seen this one also before so in ERP next we can add this issues over here so with this issue form if any customer is facing any type of different issue then they can just go on this page so basically we're providing them a platform where they can communicate with us and raise any issue they are facing with the product or service or anything so so we saw everything like we saw customer service we saw about the sales we saw about marketing and i hope everything is clear to you thank you so much for watching